What's going on guys, it's New603, and today I have a very quick, helpful video for those that play Battlefield 4 on PC. What this is going to do is give you a decent boost in the frames per second that you see while playing on PC. Now, I can't give you an exact number of what boost you're going to get from this, because different systems will more than likely produce different results. This is what you need to do, so at this point, pay close attention. I'm going to walk through it at a decent pace. Go to My Computer, and then Documents. Go to your Battlefield 4 folder in there. Go to that settings folder in there. Now open prof save underscore profile in WordPad. You can see there's an image on the screen to make this as easy as possible to give you an idea of where this path is. Again, open prof save underscore profile in WordPad. Now that you have that open, go down until you see the line GST render dot texture quality one. That number could differ. I know when I said this to Scanner Barkley, I believe his number said two or maybe it was zero, I can't remember, but it didn't say one. It doesn't matter. The number's different, but the end result was the same. So again, these are alphabetical to start with, so it's GST render dot texture quality space one. Now as you can see in this picture that I have on the screen again, I have another line directly below it that is underlined with a red line. Copy and paste this line into that exact position as you see it. Now to make it easier, down in the video description below, I put that line there for you so you can easily just copy that, and you can paste it into this word pad when you have that open. And just to make this completely idiot proof, the line says GST render dot thread dot max processor count four. Once you've got that in there, make sure you hit save and then close it out. And that's it. Easy as that. So now I've told you exactly what to do. What does this do? I'm going to tell you right now, I didn't bother to go into uh, the exact specifics of how exactly this works or why you do it. I've got a general idea, and you know what? That's good enough for me. I didn't need to know the 100% explicit details of why you do this. I just know that it works, and that's really all I care about. But to explain it in the simpleton manner that I understand it, BF4 launched to be played on most PCs, so that includes older ones that might not have the greatest of CPUs. So, the game defaults to only using one processor, and that's how I understand it, from what I read and what people explained it to me. I guess also you could say that by it running this way, it's not going to completely bog down your PC by using every available core. So that other cores can be used to run other things, but it's whatever. The point is, Battlefield 4 defaults to only using one core, and I want it to use four. So the end result, for me personally, is that I get about a 30 to 40-ish frames per second boost in what I'm seeing in my gameplay. In the end, the, the the whole shebang of this, that's what this is supposed to do. It's going to use more CPUs, use essentially more of the power from your CPU to give you a performance boost inside of Battlefield 4. So to kind of give you an idea of what you may expect, I will show you what I have. Up on the screen, you see my video settings. And while they're not all extremely high, they're decent. So I'm not really pushing my system that hard, but that's okay because I want to get more frames per second, so I don't need to be playing everything on Ultra. Now... Every time I play Battlefield 4, I'm recording. I am always recording because I do nothing but do content producing stuff. I record every single game and I just delete everything I don't use at the end of the night if it was just garbage gameplay and I save everything that was good. I record all of my gameplay at 30 frames per second. Now before updating my quote unquote code here, adding this code line in there, I was seeing about 70 to 80 frames per second while recording at 30 frames. Depending on what map it was, it may dip down as low as 60 or it could go as high as 90. But 70 to 80 was my average that I saw pretty much across the board. Since I've gone ahead and updated it with throwing this max processor count 4 code line in there, I've seen my frames per second increase to an average of 100 to 110 regularly while playing and recording still at 30 frames per second. To put that all into perspective, I'm running an Intel i7 3770K 3.5 GHz CPU and I'm running Crossfire 7970s for my GPUs. It is by no means an absolute beast setup, but I think it's actually pretty good. The end result from just taking the literally two minutes it takes to add in this line, I actually saw about a 33% increase, actually a little bit more than that, um, almost like a, a 40-45ish percent increase in the amount of frames per second I'm getting which is pretty substantial when you think about it. To get regularly over 100 frames per second while recording at 30 is pretty damn good. Go ahead, try this out if you haven't heard about it. I know that I'm actually kind of late to the party on this. I didn't realize that this was a thing. I'd never heard about this up until a couple days ago. It was actually at the end of last week. Not only did I not hear about it, but actually a lot of people I played with didn't hear about it. And the few people that did hear about it apparently didn't bother to tell any of us. <laughs> so it is what it is. Let me know down in the comments below if it works out for you, and I hope it helps you guys out. Thanks for watching, catch you later.